And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce our North Carolina senator from this district, Mr. John Snow. Thank you, General Bodnar. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a real honor and privilege for me to be here today to be a part of this first celebration of Vietnam Veterans Day. On March 29, 1973, the last 2,500 troops that were in Vietnam were removed, ending the a terrible, painful war in Vietnam. And it's sad that it's taken this long for us to recognize and to have a Vietnam Veterans Day. I want to thank uh, Congressman Schuler for what he did in the in the uh, in the uh, Congress to recognize Vietnam Veterans Day. And a year ago, about this time, we also had a proclamation from our governor that uh, Representative West and uh, Representative Hare and myself were able to get a proclamation from a governor of, of North Carolina that recognizes this day, the, or tomorrow, the 29th day of March, as being uh, Vietnam Veterans Day. It is, it is a great privilege for me to be here to accord the gratitude and respect that should be accorded to our Vietnam veterans. It's an honor for me to also read the names of seven soldiers who gave their life for the freedoms and love of their country. In Cherokee County, Richard James Neal, Lauren Cecil Jones, Thomas Edward Brown, William Ralph Graves, Jr., Raymond Farley Trampa, Billy V. Morris. Thank you. And now from the House of Representatives in the state of North Carolina, I call on Mr. Phil Hare. Thank you, and like everyone else, I'm honored and pleased to be participating in this event. And I can think of no higher calling of citizenship than service to one's country. And that's what we're doing here today is we're honoring the, the Vietnam veterans that we have. And I think it's significant that you, I'm from Jackson County today, but those of you that know your history know that a great deal of Jackson County was formed from Macon County in 1851. And so a lot of our traditions and uh, people that we have over there at one time were citizens of Macon County. And it's my duty today to pause and remember, and I'd like to make reference to one other thing. Somebody honored the other veterans from earlier wars, and all of us can be thankful today because in Jackson County there is one gentleman, T. Walter Middleton, who was one of the two survivors of the Bataan Death March, which occurred in 1942 in the Philippines. But we're honoring those today that are no longer with us. And from Jackson County, I'd like to read the names of these seven individuals. Jack Edward Hyatt, James Lloyd Lawrence, Bobby James Paris, James Bryant Diller, James Hal Wall, Charles Wendell Jennings, James Edgar Hall. Thank you. And finally, from the North Carolina House of Representatives, I call on Mr. Roger West, who represents the other district, and then it's these three to five counties. Thank you, General Bodenheimer. I'm also honored and pleased to be here today to participate in honoring our Vietnam veterans. I know of no other cause than defending our country 
I spent 20 months in Vietnam myself. And I'm honored to have done that, and I'm honored to have done that for our country. And I'd also like to read the names of some fallen Vietnam soldiers from Cherokee County. James Clinton Bryant, Ronald Jean Hembry, Raymond T. Mashburn, Richard Herbert Wilson, Billy Jack McClure, Jimmy V. Smith, Terry Vernon Cockburn. Thank you. Mr. Ronnie Beal is the chairman of the county commissioners of Macon County, and he has been very helpful to the Vietnam Veterans Association in providing space for them at one of his buildings. I'd like to call on Ronnie now to, uh, to finish this part of our program. Thank you. Thank you, Jim Bodenheimer. Uh, on behalf of the Macon County Board of County Commissioners and all the citizens of Macon County, it is a great honor and privilege to be here today to recognize our Vietnam veterans I want to take just a second to introduce your county commissioners and this board, folks, has been very supportive of our veterans and I think you'll see in the future if that will continue. Vice Chair Jim Davis is in the audience. <laughs> Commissioner Bobby Cuppers. Commissioner Bobby Simpson. And if, if Commissioner Brian McClellan is here. Uh, but it's a great day for this board to be here to recognize these families and the fallen. I also want to know as we do recognize those who have given all for our freedoms in this great community, that we must never forget the struggles that many of the Vietnam veterans still face today, along with their families. As was so well depicted in a story in the local Macon County News this week, that after 40 years, these memories and hardships are as fresh as if they happened yesterday. So today, on behalf of the most grateful citizens of Macon County and its elected officials, we would like for you to know as a Vietnam veteran and as a family member that we are committed to do whatever we have to do to provide any assistance necessary for our Vietnam veterans and their families. I also want to express the community's and my personal gratitude to the Vietnam Veterans Chapter 994. It is because of your hard work and your diligence that on this day has been designated Vietnam Veterans Day. So on behalf of all Maconians, all I can say is a heartfelt thank you for your service to our country and our community. It is now my distinct honor to read the names of the seven very brave Macon County natives who did give all. Dennis S. K. Vernon T. Cochran, Harold F. McGaha, James R. Neal, James Sprinkle, and Lawton Arville Kinder. Thank you so much. <laughs> 